science has now discovered that virtually everything to do with weight loss for both men and women is controlled by one master hormone. This hormone that is directly linked to your body's ability to burn fat is leptin. You may not know how leptin works, so let me quickly explain. High levels of leptin speed up your metabolism and signal your body to burn fat. And low levels of leptin slow down your metabolism and signal your body to store fat. Those are the basics. Now get ready for some surprising facts regarding women and leptin. Researchers recently discovered that women naturally have twice as much of the fat burning hormone leptin in their body compared to men. That's the good news. However, brand new research revealed the following bad news that explains why women can struggle so much to lose unattractive body fat and keep it off. First, women can be three times less responsive to leptin signal to burn fat than men. This means even though women have a lot more leptin, they just aren't using its fat burning potential. This condition is known as leptin resistance. An obvious sign of leptin resistance is the soft, squishy, cottage cheese looking fat found in your problem areas. And there are four specific foods which make this common problem of leptin resistance and the weight gain attached to it much worse for women. First up is one of the worst foods of all for any woman wanting a slimmer waistline, fried foods. This includes french fries, chicken tenders, potato chips, just to name a few. These foods are loaded with trans fats, which kill your sensitivity to leptin. Not to mention can lead to a slew of negative health consequences associated with trans fat consumption. Next up are wheat-based foods such as breads, bagels, and tortillas, as these gluten-filled foods are shown to cause significant inflammation in women. When in a state of inflammation, your production and sensitivity to your number one fat-burning hormone leptin is compromised. Finally, are two foods that are commonly genetically modified, corn and soy. Unfortunately, genetically modified corn and soy ingredients are being stuffed into almost every processed food that comes in a box, most commonly in the form of high fructose corn syrup and soybean oil. These two foods cause extreme resistance to leptin, and they utterly block leptin signal to your body to burn fat. Avoiding these four foods is one of the first important steps you can take as a woman to improve your leptin sensitivity along with your ability to lose weight. However, leptin resistance is just one of two unique problems that kills female fat loss. The second unique problem women face with leptin is that when dieting, your leptin levels can drop twice as much and twice as fast compared to when men diet. As talked about, when leptin drops, your metabolism hits the brakes and slows right down. This is exactly why you experience frustrating weight loss plateaus on diets so much faster than men. And have you ever suffered from the terrible rebound weight gain after you stop a diet? Well, that's because your leptin drops significantly, making your metabolism even slower than before you started the diet, resulting in fat piling back on even when you're eating next to nothing. So, to quickly recap, unique problem number one you face when trying to lose weight is your resistance or insensitivity to leptin signal to burn fat, which is basically like having your body's fat burning switch set to off. And unique problem number two you face is the rapid drop in your leptin levels when you diet, which slows down your metabolism substantially and leads to frustrating weight loss plateaus and massive rebound weight gain. Not fun. Fact is, evolution has made it much more difficult for women to lose weight by keeping leptin signal to burn fat disconnected because of the demands of childbearing and child nurturing. Your body doesn't know or care about your desires for a sexy waistline that looks hot in those skinny jeans. All it knows is the unattractive body fat you're carrying provides stored energy and warmth to ensure protection and survival of the next generation. With this being the case, guess what happens to your leptin issues following pregnancy? Well, they get a lot worse, which is exactly why losing the baby weight can be painstakingly difficult. You see, your body is hardwired to fight a losing battle with leptin every single time you attempt to lose weight. And I'm sure you can now truly understand why this is totally not your fault. Yet this is where it gets real interesting. Recall the good news researchers discovered. You naturally have twice as much leptin as a man. This, as odd as it sounds, means you have much more fat burning potential than men. It's just almost completely untapped. It's like your genetics have been playing a cruel trick on you. Yet what if I told you there's a solution to help turn the tables on your genetics 
by resetting the way your body utilizes leptin to turn your fat burning switch all the way on. <laughs> 